टेक वन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अ रिलेशन सो एज अ टोल्ड यू दैट रिलेशन वन वेर एम सेंग रिलेशनशिप रिलेशनशिप मीन्स बट इज़ अ एसोसिएशन अमंग डिफरेंट एंटिटीज नो कंसिडर दिस एग्जाम्पल वेन वी आर सेंग एवरी एम्प्लॉय वर्कस फॉर अ डिपार्टमेंट every employee works for a department and a department can have can have many employees a department can have many employees and new departments new departments need not have need not have any employee new departments need not have any employees consider this example here you can see that the condition is like this we have certain number of employees every employee can work has to work for a department it is necessary and mandatory but some departments may not have any employees if the department is new so you can draw it like this so this is representing the employees let me do one thing this is representing the employees this is representing their association and this is representing the department okay so assuming that we are having the employees as there's a employee a1 there's a employee a2 there's a employee a3 there's a employee a4 there's a employee a5 and there's a employee a6 and assuming that these are the departments d1 department d2 department d3 and department d4 now they are saying every employee works for a department here this employee is an entity employee is an entity works for is representing the relationship and department is still an entity department is an entity so you can take it like this every employee works for a department so assuming that employee e1 works for the department d1 works for the department d1 employee e2 works for the department d1 assuming employee e3 works for the department d3 employee e4 works for the department d2 employee e5 works for the department d3 and employee e6 works for the department d3 okay so you can clearly see what is happening here every employee works for a department so you can see for every employee we assigned a department to those employees and a department can have many employees you can see department d1 and department d3 are having more than one employees and the new department need not have any employee for example if you have the department d4 the department d4 did not have any employee now there are three things which you need to find number 1 what is the degree of this relation second what is the participation constraint participation and third what is the cardinality ratio what is the cardinality ratio okay so what is the degree degree is in every relationship how many entities or uh, how many entity sets are participating that is called as degree of a relationship okay you can say in every relationship in every relationship in every relationship how many entity sets how many entity sets are participating are participating that gives you know that gives what is the degree of that particular relation how many entity sets are participating that gives the degree of that particular relation here how many entity sets are participating we have two entity sets number one is employee and the second one is department so one is employee and second one is department therefore degree of this relation the degree of this relation what works for is 2 uh, so degree is 2 next what is the participation participation is what is the minimum number of relationship an entity can participate right you can say uh, you can ask say like what is the minimum number of minimum number 
of relationship relationship an entity can participate can participate that is called as participation and this participation is sometimes also referred to as minimum cardinality minimum cardinality cardinality okay minimum cardinality so if you find what is the participation of employee what is the participation of employee that means in what is the minimum number of relationship an entity has to participate you can see for every employee in minimum every employee has to participate in at least one relation a minimum of one relation therefore the participation of employee is one then if i ask you what is the participation of department you can see a department for example we have the department d4 department d4 is not participating in any relationship therefore the participation of department is zero participation of department is zero next is the cardinality ratio representation or you can say cardinality ratio what is the cardinality ratio is what is the maximum number of relation what is the maximum number of relationship relationship see there is a difference between relation and relationship okay that you will get to know at later point of time so what is the maximum number of relationships in which an entity can participate in which an entity can participate can participate that is called as cardinality ratio for example if i ask you what is the cardinality ratio of employee or cardinality ratio of employee you can see what is the maximum number of relationship an entity can participate so every employee can participate on exactly one relationship therefore the cardinality of employee is one if i ask you what is the cardinality of department cardinality of department is what is the maximum number of relation an entity can participate here you can see the department d3 and the department d4 d1 they are participating in more than one relationship therefore the participation for department is many or you can say it is n participation for department is many or it, it is n now this participation is also called as existential cons existence constraint existence constraint okay right and these you know uh, these are also called as structural constraints these things are also called as structural constraints structural constraints okay so you can say participation or existence constraints these are also called as structural constraints okay so here you can see again i'm repeating there in this relationship the degree is 2 therefore this type of relationship is also called as binary relationship and here you can see in this particular binary relationship we have cardinality ratio representation and we have the participation representation or we will be calculating participation and when i am saying participation participation is what is the minimum number of relationship an entity can participate and cardinality means what is the maximum number of relationship an entity can participate now this kind of relation can be denoted by three representations number 1 we have the cardinality ratio representation the cardinality cardinality ratio representation number 2 we have the single line double line representation single line and double line representation and number 3 is the min max representation min max representation so let me let, let us do them one by one the first one is the cardinality ratio representation so here we had employee and a department and a relation which is works for this is works for okay so here you can see the cardinality of employee was 1 the cardinality of department is n so the in case of cardinality ratio representation we write this one here and we write this n here so you can represent it like this n is to 1 okay the second representation is single line double line representation in case of single line double line representation we see 
वट इज़ द साइट वेयर वी आर हैविंग टोटल पार्टिसिपेशन वट इज द साइट वेयर वी आर हैविंग टोटल पार्टिसिपेशन वट इज़ टोटल पार्टिसिपेशन इज वेन एट ए पर्टिकुलर साइट द मिनिमम कार्डिनैलिटी द मिनिमम कार्डिनैलिटी इज वन देन दैट इज कॉल्ड एज टोटल पार्टिसिपेशन दैट इज कॉल्ड एज टोटल पार्टिसिपेशन ओके सो लेट वी राइट इट अगेन हेयर यू कैन सी इन द प्रीवियस स्लाइड यू कैन क्लियरली सी हेयर what is the participation of employee it is one and what is the participation of department it is zero so here you can say the participation of employee is one and the participation of department is zero so whenever the participation is not one or so not zero or it is greater than zero you can say whenever the participation is one then that site is called as total participating site and this employee is totally participating in this relationship so this total participation is generally denoted by this double line representation and the last one is the min max representation so if this is the employee if this is the employee and this is representing the department and this is representing the relationship between the employee and the department so in case of min max representation we show what is the participation and what is the cardinality the participation of employee is one and cardinality of employee is one in and the participation of department is zero and cardinality of department is zero that is called as the min max representation min max representation min max representation means we are going to write what is the minimum cardinality and what is the maximum cardinality what is the minimum cardinality and what is the maximum cardinality okay so now let us look at what are the different kinds of relationships we have like one to one relationship one to many relationship many to one and and so etc okay